Hello and welcome! The Tree Mizu Payload is a very useful tool for those who can get the most out of it. Whether you want to play disc games on the R we use internal storage, or playing ROMs and unofficial emulators. However, there may come a time where you'll either need to return your Wii U back to stock, or you want to resell your Wii U system, or, like me, you no longer have a use for the payload tools. And today, I'll be showing you how to install the Tree Mizu payload right after a quick message from this video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by 16-Bit Store. At 16-Bit Store, we design and 3D print a variety of items for your video games and consoles. From our styluses to our display stands, we take pride in our designs for all products that we create and the finished quality of our prints. If you are interested or just want to help out the channel, why not visit the 16-Bit Store today? And if you use offer code 16BitReview on Etsy, you'll get 15% off your order when you buy two or more items. As a good rule of thumb, before you install any custom firmware or payloads, you really should be uninstalling anything unofficially installed onto your system's internal storage and making sure that you have a backup of your system's NAND. Since once the system's back to stock, it might not be able to remove what you've, un what you've installed unofficially or can cause issues. And if you do have issues and you don't have an AND backup of your system, it can turn your very nice console into a very nice boat anchor. I've not seen these warnings on the uninstall guides that I'll be referencing in this video. However, you might as well be safe and uninstall anything unofficial since you won't be able to run it anyways and you are better safe than sorry in this case. So, much like the install process, uninstalling TreeMizu is also very simple. First, make sure you are running the latest version of TreeMizu on your SD card. Please download the latest version if you think it's a little out of date. Next. Reset the auto boot options to not automatically boot into TreeMizu. If you set TreeMizu up to automatically go to the Wii U menu on boot, you can just press and hold the X button on system boot, and from there you can change the boot order. Once you are done, reboot your system and launch the TreeMizu again through the Health and Safeties app. And from there, simply uninstall the payload. Once you are done, the Wii U will look and act as if you've never had the Tremu Zoo payload on your system in the first place. If you ever do need to access the homebrew menu again, or need quick access to backups or other system utilities, the browser exploit is always a good point to start if you want to consider reinstalling the payload again. So, that's how you want to install this payload. As I said, it was incredibly easy. And I am just impressed with how far the Wii U community has gone with just payloads, exploits, and homebrew created for Joe Wii U. Though it doesn't have the same functionality as a 3DS or Vita, Trey Zoo is more than good enough for me to do what I wanted to do with the Wii U at this time backing up my Wii U games, and extracting most, if not all, of my virtual console titles and having them ready to go as ROMs so I can play them on other devices. But anyways, that's all I have for you today. Thank you ever so much for watching these guides. I hope you have yourself a good day. And as always, take care.